Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome if I haven't seen you here before, my name is Ruby. So it's officially December now, which is really exciting because it's almost Christmas time. I always try and fit as many Christmas themed or winter themed activities as I possibly can into December time. And the best way I feel like to do that is to come up with a bucket list. So I ended up doing this last Christmas and I had the most amazing time last Christmas because I had a big old list of all the things that I could do and I could just check them off after I'd done them. So with that in mind I decided to create a, another bucket list for 2022 and actually make a video out of it because I didn't do that last year. Just in case there's someone else out there that is trying to find a few ideas of things that they can do or add to their own bucket list. I've tried to put things on this list that I feel like people would actually want to do because I saw a few bucket lists that had things that just, I don't know, I personally wouldn't want to do. So this is all things that I personally would do but I feel like a lot of people would also want to do as well if that makes sense. So I do have a lot of ideas on this list and this did take me a really long time to make so if you wouldn't mind giving me a subscribe I would really really appreciate it because I have a goal of reaching a thousand subscribers by the end of this year so if you wouldn't mind helping me reach my goal it would mean the absolute world to me. So let's get straight into my Christmas slash winter bucket list. The first one I feel like is pretty much a given for Christmas time. It's making hot chocolates but with a twist. It's making a hot chocolate station. I don't know if you've seen these before but I've seen these on Pinterest and honestly they look absolutely incredible. You just set out like a table or like a board and you get loads of different hot chocolates, some really cute Christmassy mugs, you could get some whipped cream, some marshmallows, some sprinkles, you could even put some like candy canes on there and grated chocolate and all kinds of, you could be so creative with this, I feel like you could make it look so aesthetic and take some really cute pictures of it as well. Baking some Christmas cookies or just Christmas baking in general, I can just imagine baking some like gingerbread cupcakes or some Christmassy cookies with like cranberries and white chocolate in them and stuff like that, that just sounds amazing. Make a winter a playlist. I feel like it's important to have a playlist for every single season. I personally have one for like every season of the year. You don't exactly have to make a Christmas playlist with a load of Christmassy songs because I know that they do play them in every single shop and on every single radio station so if you don't want to listen to Christmas music 24 7 you could always make a winter playlist with like some songs that remind you of this season. I know that there are a few for me personally that remind me of this season so you could just make a nice like winter playlist. Decorating a gingerbread house. This is something that I've never done before. Probably because I don't actually like gingerbread. That was probably the reason. But I can just imagine it sitting with your family and just decorating a big gingerbread house and just having like a section per like family member that you all decorate and just making it look really nice. One of my favorite things to do in this season, which is visiting a garden center. Garden centers in general just have really lovely Christmassy displays with really cute decorations. They have like different themes in different sections and stuff. And you can just go and look at all of the Christmas stuff. And they also do really good Christmas gifts in garden centers as well. I've already picked up I think about five or six Christmas gifts from a garden center. Go to a Christmas market, this is something that I need to do this year. Just go and grab a hot chocolate or some mulled wine and go and look at all the Christmassy stalls. Eat a ridiculous amount of Christmassy street food and just look at all of the lovely displays, all of the lovely presents, even grab a few presents while you're there. This one is pretty obvious but have a Christmassy movie marathon. So if you have like a list of your favorite Christmas films you could just spend the day watching those or just take a gamble and watch some really bad ones on Netflix because they are quite funny to be fair. <laughs> you go ice skating. I know ice skating rinks are open all year round but they're so much more special during the winter time. You get to wrap up nice and warm. I love the idea of ice skating and I always big myself up and tell myself I'm going to be really good at it but then I'm awful at it every single time. <laughs> going on a nice Christmassy walk just putting a hat and some gloves on and a nice big fluffy coat and maybe even taking a hot chocolate with you and just going on a nice winter walk. Drive around and look at all of the Christmas lights. I love doing Doing this it's so much fun just in your area just driving around with a hot chocolate blasting out Mariah Carey on the radio just looking at all of the lovely Christmas displays obviously decorating the house for Christmas I feel like this is on every single Christmas bucket list out there if you wanted to do something a little bit different this year you could always decorate your bedroom for Christmas I did this for the first time last year and I love it so much it made me feel so much more cozy and Christmassy have a Harry Potter movie marathon I don't know why everyone wants to watch Harry Potter around Christmas time but I also get it at the same time. Like I understand it but I don't understand it. It's not exactly the most Christmassy thing to watch but also I feel like I always wait till Christmas time and then I start like craving watching all of Harry Potter's again. Make a Christmas cheese board. I was gonna say the word chakachuri. That word. 
I'm not gonna say that one, so I'm just gonna call it Christmas cheese board for this video. <laughs> but I've seen some really cute ones on Pinterest of people making like Christmas tree shaped cheese boards and stuff like that. They're getting a load of Christmassy cheeses, load of different meats and nuts and just loads of snacks and making a nice cheese board. I'm definitely doing this this year. Again, another very obvious one, but wrapping Christmas presents. I love making a day out of wrapping presents where I just sit down nice and cozy, put on my favorite fluffy pajamas, stick on a Christmas film or some Christmas music, have a hot chocolate and just wrap all of my presents. I've seen a few people do this. I've never done it myself, but it sounds really cute. Having a Christmassy picnic by the Christmas tree. So getting a load of Christmas snacks and stuff from your supermarket, putting out a nice fluffy blanket on the floor, putting all the Christmas lights and just having a little Christmassy picnic. You could even stick on a Christmas film or some Christmas music. Make some dried orange slices. I did this for the first time last year and they smell absolutely amazing. And I don't know why, but they last a really long time and they're really easy to make. I actually have a tutorial on my channel. I'll link that down below if you wanna know how to make them. Also, I just wanna say, I'm sorry if the lighting is a bit like back and forth today. Obviously it's like four in the afternoon, so it's already pitch black outside. So the lighting is very artificial, so I'm really sorry. Having a winter photo shoot, I feel like there's so many photo opportunities during the winter time with all of the lovely lights and all of the decorations. You could just wrap up nice and warm and go and take some really cute pictures. Go winter clothes shopping. I feel like I'm definitely lacking when it comes to winter clothes. I do not have a lot of winter clothes, so I feel like this would be something that I should definitely do. But just going out and having a shopping trip and buying yourself loads of cozy jumpers, loads of knitted scarves, and winter boots. Make some Christmassy DIYs, make yourself some Christmas decorations, make some like DIY presents, just Christmas DIYs in general, but they have some really cute ones on Pinterest if you wanna find any. Create a Christmas pamper routine. So a routine where you just have a cozy evening and you completely pamper yourself with all things Christmas. You could even get like a Father Christmas sheet mask and some like Christmassy scented like body products and face masks and all that kind of thing. Trying the new Costa and Starbucks seasonal menu. They have so many like cakes and things in Costa. I haven't seen Starbucks menu for this year yet, but they have so many in Costa and so many different flavored coffees. You could always just go and try those out. Roasting marshmallows over a fire. I love doing this so much. I did this last year. There is nothing nicer than sitting around a warm fire on a cold day and roasting and eating some gooey warm marshmallows. Another obvious one, but going Christmas shopping. I've done a lot of my Christmas shopping online this year, but it's not the same as actually going into shops and looking at things and having a browse and spotting things that you want to get like your family members. So I definitely need to do that this year. Get matching Christmas pajamas, specifically these ones. I feel like these pajamas just scream Christmas to me and I really want to have matching pajamas with my boyfriend but I don't imagine that he will actually wear them. But you could get your entire family matching pajamas and then you can all wear them on Christmas day whilst you're opening presents. Go Christmas candle shopping. Go and find some lovely Christmas candles that you can light during December. Go to a drive-in cinema. I don't think this one is specifically Christmas themed but I feel like if there is a drive-in cinema in your area that's showing a Christmas film you could make like a little Christmas like graze box with a load of like snacks in and just go and watch a Christmas film. Make yourself a Christmas Eve box. This is something that I'm going to be doing this year, but just a box where you can put a load of like pamper stuff in, maybe some fluffy socks, some chocolates, a face mask, maybe like a mini bottle of wine that you can just have like a pamper evening on Christmas Eve. Make some mulled wine or eggnog. I've not actually tried eggnog before and I don't really know what it is. Has it got egg in it? I know it's got alcohol in it, but... Has it got egg as well? I'm not sure what it's got in it. But I do like mulled wine and I've never made it before so I really want to try it out this year and see if I can make it. Make a Christmas film list. So a list of all of your favourite Christmas films or maybe just watch a load of Christmas films and then make a list of all the ones you watch. And then you could mark which ones that you liked and which ones you didn't like so you have a list of ones that you can watch every year or something. Go and pick out your Christmas tree. We've never had a real tree because our family have are pretty susceptible to like allergies. I personally have really bad allergies to trees in general so I feel like we wouldn't be able to have a real tree. But if you do, you could just go out and pick your nice new tree for Christmas. Go and get your Christmassy nails done. I can't wait for my next nail appointment. I already have my Christmassy nail design picked out and I can't wait to have nice Christmassy nails. Follow a festive makeup tutorial. So if you really wanna know what kind of look you could go for for Christmas this year, but you're not really sure and you wanna try some out, you could follow a few makeup tutorials to sort of have an idea of the kind of thing that you wanna do for Christmas. I personally go all glam on Christmas day. So it's nice to sort of 
have an idea of what you're doing beforehand or just some Christmassy looks that you can wear during December time. Have a family board game night, so grab all of your favourite board games and just sit around, have some drinks, eat a load of snacks and just have a really nice board game night. Make a Christmassy or winter wallpaper for your phone or your laptop. I made myself an autumn one this year which I love so much and I also want to make myself a Christmassy or like winter themed one as well and you can make yourself one for your laptop as well. And that was everything that I had on my 2022 Christmas slash winter bucket list. I really hope that I've given you a few ideas of things that you can do to make this season a little bit more special. For, like for me personally I love to do as many things as I possibly can so stuff like this is really useful to me so hopefully it was useful to you too. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you have the most amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!